Today I'm going to be heading out to the market to pick up some goods, but uh, because this guy here is such a process to make, I'd like to get it on the, uh, on the stove first. So this is uh, called lechon kawale. This takes about uh, probably an hour to brine, and then I uh, dry it in the oven, and then I finish it off in the fryer. While this thing is boiling, we really gotta go to the market. The beef has to be on there like now. This is Polly. Polly is, I guess he's like my sous chef. I guess you're a sous chef, right? I guess so. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> Known this guy for, I don't know, maybe, over 25 years. Yeah, well, you're 42, yeah. so oh, yeah. at least 20 years. While I'm out, he's gonna go and start putting stuff together. I think you're gonna work on the manet. Manet. High five, man. Woo! Let's go. We're always high-fiving, by the way. It's like, fuck, high five. Okay. All right, guys, I'll do the autographs later. Just, just <laughs> sit still, all right? Look after these guys. This guy right here, this guy, he's the loudest one. He's the biggest, he's got the biggest bark. Dude's like harassing me. Yeah. So we're at the market. I'm with my guy here, Bobby. Bobby's my guy, man. He's my he's my meat guy. He's been here 30 years. Awesome dude. 37. 37. There you go. Bob, I'm gonna pick up some shanks. This is the tastiest thing ever. The only thing is, you have to cook it slow a long time. Can I get you to cut it, cross cut by the bone? Yeah, you got it. Okay, my friends. Thank, Thank you, sir. Nice I'll see you. see you. Right when it starts to creep into like 11, that's when the, the panic sort of uh, starts to creep in. But get the beef on there and uh, should be on time. Should be. First, a few of these guys. So, what I'm going to be making right now is manet. For me, I, I just like being with my friend, like, you know, he's my, one of my best friends and it's like, it's fun just working with him, you know, just you get each other's jokes and so, and get paid. <laughs> not enough though, not enough. <laughs> you hear that, Wes? Not enough. <laughs> so this is what keeps my, uh, my lovely locks locked down. Okay, that's looks good, man. Yep. You didn't f it up, right? No, Did you no. season it yet? No. No? Make it super, super salty, man. Okay. So it's 11.15, we really gotta hustle. We really gotta get this stuff going. Yep. Otherwise, we'll be f scrambling again, brother. Yep. How's that? Hey, put more, man. Put more? Yeah, if you're not seeing the salt, you need to put more. All right. <laughs> so get this guy in there. The yep. oven's already preheated, and all we're really doing is just drying it. So popping this guy in the oven. But I'm gonna start doing the beef. So we just came back from the market. We went to go see our friend Bobby and hooked us up with some nice, beautiful shank. There you go. Kind of do it, you know, do a little, little turn. Is that good right there? Bam. To pull this together, it's gonna take about, uh, about three hours till we have to just start rolling now. But the beef that I'm offering this week is called beef machado. Our dish are mainly made with a lot of, I guess you would say cheap cuts, but we make such beautiful dishes out of it, right? Beef machado is made with this like hearty tomato sauce. It takes about anywhere between three and four hours to make. The goal is to have all the, the heavy meat dishes on the go. By 10, 11 o'clock, it should already be moving. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start frying these guys. I mean, we're a little bit behind today because we went in the market, but it doesn't mean we're late. It just means we're not on schedule. But I love Filipino food. I love it. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but the one thing that really bugs me about Filipino food and, and just in our culture in general is that like our food is looked at as something cheap, you know? And it's far from, man. It's far from cheap. A few uh, cloves of garlic in there. So all that flavor in there, I, I just wanna lift it. That's what I want. Some tomato onions. The things that, that go into it, the love that goes into it, the flavors that come out of the, the kitchen that translate into this beautiful, beautiful dishes is nothing less than spectacular. See, I love how like the bone marrow is still like in there. So by the time this is done, all that stuff is just all mixed in. And the sauce there, three different kinds of soy sauce. And just let it, let it do its thing. So I'm gonna start up the pork. Pork adobo is another dish that's like 
If you're Filipino, you need, you, you know adobo. It's like, it's, it's your junior DNA. So we've pre-cut these guys already as part of our prep. So the first step is to cook this guy down and then get all the, uh, the oils out of the pork. And then you sort of just fry it in its own uh, fat. There's a lot of stuff that goes into it. Uh, the most basic ingredient for adobo is really soy, garlic, onions, and vinegar. Once everything is done, there's about seven to 11 uh, ingredients in there. <laughs> if you're gonna cook based on measurement, you're cooking based on someone else's technique. The way I cook, it's all by feel, right? And there's, there's a sense of honesty that comes out of that, right? Because you're, you're really just cooking from, you know, from the heart, I guess. That sounds kind of corny, but that's, that's sort of like how it is, you know? Yeah, so the final step of this dish is the, uh, the vinegar. Again, I don't measure. I would say that's maybe, what, a quarter cup? The rule is that you don't stir it once you put it on. Just let it simmer for a little bit. Why do we do it? I don't really know. I just, I was just told not to touch it once you put the vinegar. So I do it like that and it comes out, it comes out magic. Now I can start stirring this bad boy. Like everybody knows adobo in our culture. Everybody has their own version. Oftentimes when you have adobo, it's always, you know, you'll hear the, my, my Lola, which is my grandma, or my Lolo, grandpa, makes it the best, or my dad makes it the best. But to be honest with you, dude, mine's the best. Like, 1,000%. No, my mom's is the best. Bro, uh, mine is the <laughs> best. Even your mom said, is, yeah. mine's is the best. It's kind of good, that's what she said. <laughs> it's that, right? Like, when you ask me, why don't you stir it when you put the vinegar? Well, well this is why. Why? Yeah. Well, this is why. <laughs> this is why. One of my customers that I'm delivering to today, I could even show his thread, it's hilarious. They specifically wait for the adobo to drop and then they just order like three, four of them so that they could hold it for the week until my next run. So, is my adobo good? Right. <laughs> Yeah. Rice is cooked, right? I think we have about three orders of wings. Uh, so that will be, uh, I think we could do that together. That'd be cool. Yeah. Like I said, we're not on schedule, but we're on track, dude. You know awesome. Saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Just basic seasoning here, salt, pepper. Just like massage that guy in there. Polly just put in the, uh, the first batch and uh, we're doing the first fry. After this, we take it out, let it sit for a little bit, and then put it in for the final fry. And that's what's gonna give it the crispiness that we want. Like, all this oh, thing yeah. is so funny, dude. Like, you know, how we started, you know, we obviously lived very different lives. You know, we, we grew up doing together, right? Went to high school together. Yeah. <laughs> we did a whole bunch of stuff. So, again, he's older than I am, but we were in the same class. And like, look at us now, dude. Like we're like side by side, like building, building something great together. And I wouldn't do this with anybody else, man. Up here. Woo! That's the, uh, that's the history of us, man. So this is the second fry of our wings. It's ready for uh, dressing. This is the, uh, this, our sweet chili sauce. We've work, been working on the, the branding for a while and we finally start getting, uh, got our stamps in, our stickers. That's a pretty big deal for us. So it feels a little bit more real. We open it. Legit, I guess, like we've always been legit, but it's like, yeah, it's good. Seeing your project come to life the way that it's happening now, it's like, it's pretty special, man. Being on the other side of that, like as a, as a project manager, working on, on clients to do, you know, to work in their dreams, it's, it's different. Two, four, six, eight. Let's put a little bit of garlic, of course. You guys know bawang means garlic, right? So this is their uh, anato oil. That's the wings right there, man. That's the famous sweet chili wings that we offer. By 3.30, everything should be done. And then we start bagging, four o'clock. By five, I should be out of here. Yeah? Good, I'm good, man. And this sort of happens super fast. Yeah, so these are the, uh, the side beans that go with our dish. Yeah, this is good to go. These are all done, right? These are all good? Yeah, so now I'm gonna do the, uh, the beef machado. Take the potatoes that we double fry, and then start laying out the meat. And that's our beef machado. Nice. 
one is stuck. <laughs> yeah, I think the pork is done. Like this is lechon. That's lechon. Like you could eat it like that. But the way we do it, extra, extra love. You ready? See how that starts to bubble up there? You see that? That's three hours of work right there. That's why when you say what makes a fried pork dish delicious, it needs to be crispy, man. And this is it. You know, when I first started this, I didn't know what I, what I was doing. I just knew how to cook. All right. And I didn't know the business side of it. I didn't know how people are gonna react to it. And now that I've gotten so many dishes out the door and I'm, I've met so many people, the confidence level is definitely up there to a point where like, man, I fantasize about jumping into a restaurant, right? And then I thought about it. I'm like, wait a minute. Like the world is upside down right now. It doesn't make sense for me to open a restaurant right now. You know, maybe not. But I think I'm, I'm pretty worthy of, of, you know, putting out something really delicious, you know? So that's, that's one order right there. So I'm gonna be here in about probably 5.15. Right? Yeah. Everything needs to be back by then. Sure. All right? Well, give me time. As long as you give me a little bit of time. So the last part of this story is now me hopping on my bike, getting my ass to my place, pick up the car, and head back here, pick up the goods and deliver. Just waiting on him, always, as per usual. <laughs> At the end of it, like we're still, we're still like really good friends. Well, forget about me when you, when you're like this big, right? <laughs> Bro, come on, guy. Oh, I, you know, you don't know. Lechon both, have, they both have the chon, but one has, has wings, wings and okay, one has adobo. Perfect, perfect. perfect. No, want me to just help you with the other one? Yeah. Okay. Grab it. Cool. Everything's here? Yep. Good? Yep. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Good luck, bud! Bro, I'm on my way. Be there in like 10 minutes? Less? I work 14 to 18 hours a day, man. A day. That's a grind. See you soon. You know, and I go home with my 10% margin, and I still feel like I don't feel duped. Or I don't feel deflated at all. I did this out of like love and passion. And then when I see people like actually reach out and grab it and, and post it and celebrate it, you know, people like build date nights around my food, which is crazy, you know? And people that have never had Filipino food before are, are trying it with me for the first time. Like, who the f am I? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, so that's the last deal of the day. And that's the sh dude. That's the, that's the thing that makes me feel like, yeah, I'm actually doing something that one, I love, two, that makes sense, and three, people actually appreciate it. Okay, peace. These guys order from me almost every week, and that's the thing that, that, that drives it home, man, you know? There's this level of satisfaction that, that you get when you finish your run, and then you have people like that that just appreciates everything that, that you put out. Just amazing, man. It's just an amazing feeling, you know?